my friends, straight from the great state of GA, that is the Peach State, Georgia, if you don't know, and from the lovely city of Savannah, we're going to say hello to the legendary Jesse Cole. You might also know him as Yellow Tux Jesse. The owner of the Savannah Bananas. I love the Savannah Bananas, bro. Us, I love the bananas with all I love my the heart. bananas, dude. Oh. Hey, they're coming to St. Louis, like, oh, I, like right now, bananas. like here soon. Damn, we might, uh, bro, we might have like, like next week or the week bananas. after. It's like coming, like you're. Woo! We might have to go see the Nanners because so I, my friend, the greatest dog. If you don't know, you dog. better know. You're about to learn. <laughs> you're about to like them even more because Yellow Tux Jesse. Joining us this morning, man, he'd be a fucking guest to have on a show. Damn. About flourishing and failure. Single thing we've done for the first time we failed at. Our first shipment of t-shirts, there were too many N's in bananas. We actually misspelled. If you guys are merchandise, not a good start, okay? We failed miserably with that. And then our first ever game, all you can eat. Fans had to wait almost two to three hours to get food. We had no idea what we're doing. And then you go to our first ticket launch, the ticket system shut down. Last week we were on ESPN. The transmission went out for the first 10 minutes on national primetime television. Every single thing that we have done, we have failed at first. And most people, what happens is they give up after a failure. We do so much that we're not scared of doing what they call a failure. If we are not failing, we're not trying big enough things. It's our willingness to get through the messy to get to the great. What are you doing that you've never done before that you can experiment with and try? And it's probably going to fail at first. But then we'll get to the next one and then get to the next one. And it's always get to that next at bat, get to that next at bat, get to the next at bat. Pete Rose has more hits than anyone ever played Major League Baseball. He also has 14,000 at bats. He has 2,000 more at bats than anyone ever played. Of course he had more hits. So our mindset is to keep coming to bat every single day and keep doing that. Failure doesn't scare us. It's part of what we do. Bro, massive. Absolutely. Massive. <laughs> and I'll tell you this. I, you heard me finish it. If you don't fail, you're not trying hard enough. I've said it a million times, man. Here's the bottom line, and I love what he said about that. Hey, Pete Rose, most hits ever, right? We also literally had more at-bats than anybody else. Here's the thing. People talk about LeBron James being the best. No, he's just played the longest. When you have that many games, and you ha it's impossible not to have the scoring title. And, of course, right, what what real – and I don't believe LeBron James is a GOAT, so let me just say that. Right. What, what real GOATness is is playing for your finite amount of time, checking yourself out, and still putting those records up there regardless of how long you were there, right? That's the difference. And I love about the whole story with those guys is that they failed and failed and failed and failed again. The one thing I tell people all the time is I don't care how much you fail as long as you learn from that mistake and don't make that one again. Now, you can fail again in another area as long as it's not that. You better learn something from that. Here's the one thing that I tell everybody when it comes down to being a failure or being a success. It comes to two different things. It's the ability to react to a situation and make a decision. And a lot of people just won't make the damn decision. So you know what happens? They end up literally doing nothing. And I would rather somebody do something than do nothing. That's why I say don't stand there, just do something. Because at least if you do something, I can tell what your decision making is. And then I can help to fix that if you went the wrong way. But at least I know you're not afraid of making a decision. Be okay to fail. At least be out there doing something. Do something that's going to make you fail because if not, you've never – I'm going to tell you, if you think you've mastered this game of life or whatever you think you're doing right now, then you're not trying hard enough because there's a failure around the corner and it's waiting for you to grow. <clears throat> Chipping my triggers left, right, and center. I told you. I told you you'd have a couple one. of triggers chipped. I mean, I'm just – oh, and – Talk about learning and always be willing to learn, huh, man? Just because you got a multi-million dollar company doesn't mean you can't still be learning. Who's to say? Who's to know? Ah, just slow, yeah. subtle jabs there all morning long. Messy to great. Just subtle fucking jabs, man. I'm sorry. I just, I just the wrong, way. The wrong way here lately. And I just, oh, gosh, just oh, had to put one out there. Messy to great, man. You got to be willing to go from the messy to the great. Go through the bullshit. You know what that Mac Miller line. I've been in the shit so long that long, I think it smell. smell. Uh, yeah. Come on, man. That's me, bro. <laughs> come on. That's what I'm talking about. And when you see an organization like Savannah Bananas and you see all their highlights and all the great stuff and everything, you don't know the failures. And that also made me think about the quote: everybody would trade positions with you, but they wouldn't trade problems with you. <laughs> they you you don't know the first half of it. 
You don't know the first half of what it takes to be yellow tux, Jesse. Oh, this dude walking around in a yellow tuck and a hat. Oh, he's got it cake. This dude wears a fucking yellow suit. He can't have a hard life. I highly doubt that. And I bet you he's been places and seen things and done things that he never thought he was going to have to do. And he's figured it out anyway. And I, I, I'm sure when that transmission went out for 10 minutes, his stomach dropped through his ass. And he thought, oh, fuck, here we go again. Damn it. Okay, we flourished every single time. All right, what do we got to do? Okay, hey, start, get them in that truck, move them there. We got to get this cable moved over here. Everybody start moving here. He didn't sit there and start wringing his hands and complaining. Maybe he sat back for a minute and said, fuck her. But he got right back to it. 